Hey all, well here we are, nearly Christmas isn't it, another year gone by, another rebuild, I think that's my third complete rebuild and uh, about 20 different changes. Anyway I'd just like to say, I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and of course a happy and healthy new year with plenty of modelling to be done. Um, I didn't get this layout finished, which I said I would do, but uh, I've got some trains running, I'll show you. I'll just run a few. I've still got one or two problems there, and uh, still quite a bit to do. But uh, I've just put a little bit of a video together just to say that uh, I've done one for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, as I say, all the very best, uh, and I'll take you around the layout, show you around, and I'll and run a few trains, and I think there's two or three little uh, tips I've put in there as well. One I forgot to say was when you like me I've had me stock well I won't say put away but it was it was collecting dust a bit. You know those big blusher brushes the uh, ladies wear for the faces it was one of them and it, it uh, gets the dirt off quite good. Right I'll we'll call that a do and I say all the very very best for Christmas and thank you all for all the subscribers for being uh, so patient with me and following me during the last year and of course over the last 10 11 years we've been doing it anyway that's it all the best bye bye all right well i've uh, not finished my layout i said i'd have it done for christmas but uh, i haven't but at least we've got a few trains running i got most of it done uh, but a lot to finish off yet but I'll just show you around now, nothing with no trains running. This is my uh, town end as we call it. I've got your fire station, your bus station, a few shops, plenty of houses and of course we've got Tony's nightclub there. A couple of factories and garage. Got the and suspension bridge. Of course over the lake that we made, that's one where I did the surface with uh, like polyfiller and then just stippled, stippled it. Um, put a few boats on, some nice little rowing boats there. I was going to string these across the, these lights across the uh, suspension bridge but just a bit too bright. It's, uh, just a bit of a gimmick for Christmas. <laughs> Uh, I'll we'll come a bit there. Uh, I think it was uh, yeah, Gage Masters with their uh, you know those German ones, uh, you know the ones I mean. Of course, we had to do a bit of a an incline for to get the suspension bridge back in. And I think we build all time. this bit by bit anyway. But uh, then we come down to this end. We've got the. Uh, country station, Steve Alt, and of course the tunnels which we can lift those up now bring you down I'll show you uh, something go wrong, some carriages in there now anyway we'll just lift the lids up so we've got a quite a lengthy tunnel and no problems and we come round another little tunnel there I've had that a long time and I thought I'd not make use of it We've got the freight uh, freight terminal. And then we come down to the station. Again, old station that I had from a few years ago. I just had to make a platform for it. It's made it rather wide so as I could fit that on. And of course these two uh Hornby ones. Which Saves a lot of work, doesn't it? And then down to the bottom end to the industrial area, which is down that end. There's still a lot of work to be done today here. under a bridge, so I'm going to try and see if we get something to go with that bridge again, like I did last time. But it's going from a different angle this time. And there you can see I brought my factories in again. That ballast, of course, is to be painted, but it's not dry yet. It's all to be ballast. Loads of that track all to be ballasted yet. But, uh, just start to get something done for Christmas, as I said right I would do. This new canal I made, I made a bit of a forefire with that um, 
easy easy e to z uh, water plastics there's plastic granules i did it in three sections well i did three three boilings as you might say and of course the um sh you do it you should do it all in one and not as big a space not as big an area because i finished up again i've got more or less three levels there but what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise the canal edges and then I'll go back to using that, uh, what do you call them, water. That woodland scenic water. Another little pond, of course that's not dry, I want to put that in this morning. I'm back around to the town again. And there you have it. This is that uh, brush I was mentioned earlier on. I think they call it a blusher brush. It's what the ladies used to powder their faces, I believe. But an ideal for cleaning your rolling stock. A nice and soft brush. It just gets that dust off. Gets to the parts where other parts can't get to, or other things can't get to. As we've got the DMU out. We'll give it a run round. All the lights there, they're just a bit too bright. Must been a little favour to mine the DMUs. I think we might have had a visit to come on this one. Let's have a look and see. Yes, we can see them now. They've arrived. Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. We brought a few goodies for us. I'm just got his head in way of that lamp, are not Let's have a look. That's better. I can see them better now. I bet she's a bit cold with that short skirt on. <laughs> well, the festivities can begin now then.
two or three things I want to show this week. Um, tips for road painting your roads. I've just tried this Faller um, paint. It's quite thick actually. It'll be if you want your road in that colour. It's probably ideal, but. Uh, I have a, a lot of road on mine, so I've used a, a cheaper alternative. I'm not sure what that, I think that's about £8 for a bottle of that. But I, what I've used is just the ordinary acrylic paint. I'll show you which one I use. It's a matte black. I bought it at local stationery stores. It's about, there's, just two, there's two different sorts. There's a cheaper one, it's about £3 some. And then there's this dearer one, it's uh, about £5.50. But there's a lot of paint in there, you mix a bit of water with it and you can do a lot of roads with it and it, it doesn't make a nice uh, thick surface. And that the other one, the cheaper one, I tend to find it uh, it marks quite easily but that's not done so bad at all. And the other thing was, I know I showed those marker pens I had before for doing the white lining. Um, I've been using these uh, they're quite good but you have to be careful because they do occasionally drop bobs of paint down onto you you know when you're working away with them and what I've just done again a local uh, stationery store I bought these again it's, it, it is paint markers not uh, ink markers and they're very good uh, you've got no blobs of paint dropping I found with these um, I don't know, I can't remember now, about £2 each, £2.20, something like that. But you can get all different colours. Uh, I've done my yellow lines there. And the white lines, of course. But, uh, oh, and then the other thing is, I wanted some of that uh, water again, but that wouldn't see its water you pour on. It's uh, natural water, they call it, whatever they call it, anyway. It's, it's, it's about £20 a, a, a bottle now, so I've gone back to using this EZ to easy, easy water, EZ water I call it. You put it in a pan and boil it. Well I'm just going to do a pan now and then I'll show you pouring into the canal there. I'm only going to do one section, see how it comes out. Right, I won't put it in. It just takes, it takes uh, four or five minutes to get them molten. In. Put them on the gas stove, of course. But uh, I warn you now, you only use an oak pan that you're not going to use again for anything else. Uh, your wife or your mother won't be right pleased. <laughs> That's the remains of a bag from a, a few years ago, actually, so I'm just hoping it'll be alright. I have two new bags there anyway, tell them they'll go up. If it doesn't, there we have it, it's melted. Oh, don't forget this is red hot plastic so don't put your pan down on anything that's going to burn. I'm trying to do this without uh, spilling some. Just set very quickly. I should have brought a hairdryer up with me because you only just get a few waves really you know uh, it's boiling plastic right that's all I'm doing to start with see how that sets it's starting to set already five minutes and that'll be solid well you don't get uh, you don't get many ripples do you but, uh, yeah nice glazed effect that I'll see how that dries and then uh, do another one. Oh, there you have it. It's uh, it's not bad. I uh, I slipped up though. We're doing it two or three different lots because you can see where it's joining there. I have to put a boat on there or something. But uh, you got a nice shiny surface anyway. I think, uh,
And all the trains have stopped running now, Christmas Day. Time to sit back and enjoy a good Christmas. And no mention of Brexit. Ha <laughs> ha.